Now at six, evictions are on the rise here in Franklin County. The Franklin County Municipal Court says in last year alone, they had about 12,000 more eviction cases than the year before. But tonight, the court's trying to help those impacted. 10 TV's Tara Jabor spoke to a woman who was recently evicted about her current struggles. She's live tonight with her story, Tara. Well, the goal of that help center is for those to help those who are being evicted. Now, we spoke to one woman who told us that she's been having housing problems since the pandemic. The last few days have been tough for Lolita Jenkins Miles. After living in public housing since 2020, she was evicted from her home. Homeless. I'm in a, I'm in a hotel right now. Me and my granddaughter and my baby because I'm homeless. Jenkins Miles says her last home had what she calls questionable living conditions. Shortly after, she was evicted. Now she says she's struggling to find housing because of the reputation that has been put on her record. Every place I tried to apply for it denied me because of an eviction. She's hoping the help center at the municipal court can find her more permanent housing. She's going to let me redo another application, extend my extend my voucher to look for housing again. And records reveal she's not the only one. According to Franklin County Municipal Court, evictions are on the rise in Franklin County. In 2023, the Municipal Court had 23,900 evictions. The Franklin County Municipal Court Self-Help Center is a resource for those who have been evicted. Robbie Southers, the managing attorney for the center, says they can help with everything from social workers to help find permanent housing to legal options for those who are evicted. We also have of navigators at eviction court who welcome people who are attending eviction court that day, help them triage through the different resources that are available at court. Eviction helps make up 70% of the work at the center. Souther says that the people that they help are making heartbreaking choices. A common situation we've seen are people needed to pay for a funeral for a family member instead of paying their rent. And it's really hard choices that families are having to make right now. Souther says if you're being evicted, come to the center. They try to give people two outcomes, one of paying their rent and staying or an agreed move out that helps keep the eviction off someone's record. The court's not a place that is looking to do harm or just force you out. There's a lot of resources available that want to help you. And everything that the Help Center offers is free. They are open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. Reporting live in downtown Columbus, Tara Jabor, 10TV News. Great information.